Hi, my name is Courtney Nash. My name is Mitchell Miller. My name is Kyle Melnick. My name is Ola Dinerup, and our topic is astronomy and the Stewart Observatory. When I look upon the stars, I often wonder, what is out there? While I do not know these answers, a place on our own campus is working day and night to find them. The Stewart Observatory is home to the University of Arizona's astronomy program. It was founded in 1916 of a $60,000 donation by an anonymous donor. Today, exactly 100 years later, it is also the home of the Richard F. Carr's Mir Lab, organization still contributing to the discoveries in astronomy. The mysterious donor turned out to be Mrs. Lavinia Stewart. She was a wealthy widow who wanted to preserve the memory of her late husband, Henry B. Stewart, who had an interest in astronomy. She wanted the resources to go towards a telescope of huge size. Though the project was delayed by World War I, the 36-inch diameter Newtonian telescope was the first astronomical telescope to have been placed into this fine establishment that used all American-made products. In 1964, the original telescope was removed from the dome and relocated to a dark mountain site on Kitt Peak. The telescope that replaced it was a 21-inch diameter and was a Cassegrain reflecting telescope. Fun fact, the Stewart Observatory is also one of the few facilities in the world that can cast and figure the very large primary mirrors used in telescopes that were built in the past decade. Did you know, 100 years ago, the land that this establishment was built on was an isolated tract of university land, more specifically an ostrich farm. The original building is a celebrated piece of architecture to the University of Arizona. The city of Tucson has partnered up with the Stewart Observatory and the University of Arizona in an effort to preserve astronomical discoveries. Tucson has been named the astronomical capital of the world. The observatory has also been home to NASA astrophysicists. Andres Gerasimos Michelizianos earned a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Arizona, and he also worked in the observatory to pay off his college tuition. Andres worked on the Hubble Space Telescope Project and the International Ultraviolet Explorer. Andres's achievements exemplify and solidify the University of Arizona's position in astronomy and the sciences. It is a large part of UA history, and the observatory continues to contribute to U.S. history as well. Question of the day. What birthday did the observatory just celebrate?